Hey everybody, I'm Trina from Fit for Females. If you like what you see, visit the website at fitforfemales.com. Be sure to consult your physician before you do any of these exercises. I'm bringing to you the, Dece the December Motivation of the Month Challenge. It's also called the Mom Challenge at Fit for Females. This month, it's eight minutes. There's eight exercises, they're one minute each. You're always gonna do three plyometric jumps or squats in between each exercise. It will begin and end the challenge. So for low impact, you would do four squats. You'd come down, squat, knee up, lift. You'll do this four times. Okay, so four times. One, two, three, and four. If you'd like a high impact version, you're gonna do a plyometric jump. So when you jump up, slap the knees, land softly, do it again, three times. You're working up to height over the month. First exercise, so you'll do three to start, is a band row. You can secure this around your feet, or you can use a post, uh, something that's secure. Pulls, so they're band rows. If you have a band at home, you're just gonna row right back. Chest up, shoulders back. If you do not have a band, you can also do a weighted row where you're bent right over, bend through the hips, chest right down, you can use that arm to support and you'll row up 30 seconds. So you do 30 seconds on each arm if you're doing it this way. Second exercise is gonna be a deadlift. So again, after that move, three plyometric jumps. Chest up, stiff leg, come down, pull up and through. Making sure those hips come up and through, don't arch back. Next one is gonna be a ball pike. So you got a couple different versions of this one. You can do, if you're not strong enough to do a pike, you'll stick to a basic plank. You can work up on your knees, okay? Go to the toes. Once you're strong enough to get there, you can try to go to a ball. So you can do a ball plank, okay? You can also take this from your knees, nice and strong, okay? The ball pike would be for somebody who's a little more advanced. I can take little body on the ball or less body on the ball. The more body I have on the ball, the easier it is. So I'm gonna bring my cheek, my knees to my chest. Come back out in a straight line. Make sure that you're not dropping down. Very, very important. The more foot you have off the ball, the more leg you have off the ball, the harder it is. The fourth exercise, is gonna be a squat, you'll go right into it. Again, the three plyo jumps, always in between, is gonna be a squat, outer thigh. So chest up, squat right back, check your knee alignment, lift up. Squat, lift up. So the front version, squat, don't lean, nice and tall, so it's a squat and just a little press. Okay, so then we drop those weights, we're going to go to a plank jack. So that's one minute for that exercise as well. Plank jacks can be done on the floor. Plank jacks can also be done on a ball. So I would suggest starting on the ground. If you're not strong enough to get both feet up, just a little windshield wiper um, direction with your knee. You can also do one leg at a time. Tapping. You can take it a little harder without bouncing. None of this. Chest up, abs tight. I can also do this on my ball. So once I've worked up to it, again, I have a nice relaxed shoulder. Come up in my high plank, tap, tap. Try not to bounce on the ball. That's obviously exaggerated, but you don't want to be bouncing on the ball at all. Next one, what do I have? Sumo overhead squat. So again, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes flared out, you can bring it up. Okay, if you're, if you're a little more beginner, you can do it without weights, you could do it this way, or you'll take it right from the ground and then press it up. So sink right back, chest up. All right, so with or without weights. Next one is gonna be either a burpee, if you're not strong enough to do a burpee, you can either do a squat with an arm chop. You could do the opposite way. 
You could add a weight to this also. You could work up to a burpee where you bring your hands down, walk, walk, and come up. You can do a full burpee and a jump. Last but not least is a stability ball inner thigh squeeze. So you're going to make sure you have a stability ball. If you don't, you could use a towel or pretend like you have it there. Squeeze your legs in, support your head, reach and touch. You can go opposite arm to opposite foot. You could do straight lifts, come back, support the head, abs tight, relax. Don't forget that after that, you'll end with your three plyo jumps. So eight minute challenge, it's posted on the website. You can see your heart rate gets up, getting up and down from the ground. It's an awesome challenge. If you can do it over the month of December, you can even triple it, do it a few times, have fun with it. And don't forget to visit the website at fitforfemales.com. Thanks.